So let's go ahead and hop into it, all right? Safety John Johnson, does he stay or does he go? These are just my predictions, by the way, guys. I want to make that clear, because every time I see you, some people will kind of be like, hey, that didn't happen. It's just a prediction. It's okay. Uh, so safety John Johnson, does he stay or does he go? I think he goes. Not only do I think he goes, I think he goes to the Chargers, and I think that uh, Brandon Staley is a big part of that, and I think that that's exactly what happens. So John Johnson, I don't want him to go at all. It hurts me to see him go because I think he's an extremely talented player that brings a lot to the LA Rams defense and was a big part of that secondary success. I think he goes. Cornerback Troy Hill. I think Troy Hill stays. I, I think that he's going to be cheap enough that the Rams can retain him. He also has a big enough impact on the defense that I think that, uh, that it'll, be, it'll be worth it to, to bring him back in. Cornerback Darius Williams. He stays because he's an RFA. And if he goes, I think that the Rams could get a first round pick for him. All right, Darius Williams, he's a restricted free agent, which means we can slap a tender on him. And then if a team offers him, we can either match that offer. We got first like dibs basically and we can we can match that offer and retain him or we can not match that offer and depending on the tender that we put on him uh, which would likely be a first round considering his impact on this defense uh, I would guess that that's going to be a first round tender uh, then the, the Rams would receive that first round back or that first round pick from that team so I mean that's something to keep an eye on I think that that's a that's a genuine thing a way that the Rams might sneak back into the first uh, round uh, to the draft, but I also don't think that happens. I think that the Rams want to keep him. Center Austin Blythe. I think that Blythe stays. I think a lot of these offensive linemen stay for the next few years. I think that it would be, I think it would be a pretty big mistake to let some of these guys walk, especially when you got a guy like Andrew Whitworth, who's probably only got one more season in him. If the Rams do decide to bring him back, there's no real news on that yet. Uh, tight end Gerald Everett. I think he goes. Uh, Gerald Everett. Especially near the end of the season, the Rams just weren't utilizing him. They weren't even trying to utilize him at all. So that's why I think he he goes away. And uh, Tyler Higby, I think, is obviously he's going to stick around. But Gerald Everett, he just like where was he in the in where was he in the playoffs? I had what one catch, I think. I, I would have to look, but I do, I just don't really remember seeing eighty one flashing around. And I mean, he's got a lot of talent. He's He's one of those guys that when he catches the football, he's extremely tough to bring down. And I think he's going to have a really strong career somewhere else. I just don't think it's for the Rams. Tight end Johnny Munt. I think that Johnny Munt stays as an L.A. Ram. He's He brings a lot to the table as far as blocking goes. Uh, but also, I mean, the Rams have some really good tight ends right now. And that's another reason that I think Everett might might uh, be leaving. is Because the Rams are pretty deep at that position. Maybe the deepest in the league. And I... You know what? I'll, I'll say that they are the deepest in the league. I don't see another team. Uh, there's some teams that have superstar tight ends. I don't think there's a, a team that has the depth at tight end like the Rams do right now. Uh, so I think Johnny Munt stays, especially because of his blocking ability. A couple of outside linebackers here. Leonard, Leonard Floyd. I don't think that the Rams can afford Leonard Floyd to bring him back in. The Rams did uh, move around some money and... And, and open up a little bit with the Jared Goff move, but the Rams are over the cap already entering the, the 2021 season, so I don't know exactly if uh, if uh, Leonard Floyd is something that can fit into the Rams the Rams plans here. And then uh, outside linebacker Samson Abukam, I think he stays. I think he sticks around. I think he brings a lot to the table uh, as far as especially as far as motor. I don't want to say that he's not talented because obviously he is. He's an NFL player. Um, but there's there's some technique that I think he could work on, but the motor is there. And as long as the motor's there, uh, I, I think that he's he's a guy worth keeping around. Uh, especially, I mean, he gets after it, man. He absolutely does. Uh, outside linebacker Derek Rivers, I think he stays as well. He's kind of... Uh, he We see him come in here and there, but as far as that goes, I think that we can just bring him back cheap enough. And he's got that continuity, so I think we bring him back. Wide receiver Josh Reynolds. I don't think that the Rams bring him back, and I think a big part of that is the emergence, not necessarily emergence, but the existence of wide receiver Van Jefferson, uh, who was a rookie out of Florida last year, so he's going into year two. We'll see how that progression goes. You obviously want to see a jump every single offseason. Uh, Josh Reynolds had a, had one big drop in uh, the Packers game that hurt, hurt my soul real hard. Uh, but I, I do think he goes. I don't know exactly where he goes. I, I don't necessarily have a landing spot for him. I really think it's the Jets for some reason. I just feel like that happens. 
There was no real purpose to that prediction. I, I just, I, just a feeling that I have. Defensive end Morgan Fox. I think he stays. And uh, the reason that I think he stays is because he is a he has become a very important part of this Rams defense. And it's not only because I'm a big Morgan Fox fan. I'm a big Josh Reynolds fan. I just had I predicted him going. But Morgan Fox, I think he stays. I, I think he's he's worth it to the Rams to to, to keep around. Uh, he's I mean, he comes in a lot. I, I he's got vibes like he's a rotational player, but he's not. He's a very talented player who can absolutely get after it. And I think he's worth bringing back. And I think the Rams try. Long snapper Jake McQuaid. I don't see any reason why we would let him go. Uh, he is the longest tenured Ram right now. He has been around for quite some time. He's one of the only uh, St. Louis Rams that remain. There's not that many. And uh, quarterback Blake Bortles, I think he goes. I don't think we have a reason for him anymore, especially we got the Wolf Ow, uh, backing up Matt Stafford. And then, of course, we did just bring in Duck. So we got the Wolf, the Duck, and Matt Stafford, who doesn't have a cool animal name. 